Sector 7 is what happens when The Thing has a baby with Deep Rising, except it sucks. Kim Ji-hoon directed this as his follow-up to May 18th, which was actually a pretty heavy and uh, depressing movie. To go from that to this is pretty jarring, and it kind of feels like Kim made this more or less because he needed to fart something out to stay relevant, rather than because he actually wanted to make this. The plot centers around an oil rig that accidentally unearths these shiny booger-looking things from the earth bed, one of which mutates and gets loose on the rig, and all hell breaks loose. With the premise that simple, all you really need to make this a hell of a good time, I only ask for like two things, you know? Make your characters likable, and make it gory. How much you want to bet Sector 7 doesn't do either of those things? <laughs> I would love to know how someone this stupid got a job on a fucking oil rig. And you know what the sad thing is? This dude's probably the most memorable character in the movie, for all the wrong reasons. Dude's voice just, it, it sounds like if an ostrich could talk, you know what I mean? Do you get that? Do you understand what I'm saying? So essentially what ends up happening is this dude's obsessed with the rig's scientist and constantly hits on her to a creepy degree. And at some point, the scientist chick ends up dying and the rig's doctor finds, well, spermy goo, for lack of a better term, on her body and then we get, uh, we get this line. Which is not something I thought I'd ever see in a movie. In actuality, I think the best way to go into this movie is as an unintentional comedy. Because the scenes that are supposed to be funny are not funny. They're so cringe that they make me want to rip my eyeballs out with a fork. But the scenes that are supposed to be, well, you know, badass or serious, well... This entire sequence feels like a common Rider episode, except this isn't a common Rider episode. This is a $10 million theatrical film that was released in IMAX theaters. Can you tell? Jesus, could you imagine seeing this shit in IMAX? Actually, that feels like an insult to common Rider. I shouldn't have said that. I take that back. The monster itself is clearly where the CGI budget went to. I mean, it looks like someone shit out a piece of chewed bubblegum, but at least it looks halfway decent. Every other shot? Nah, it's just an afterthought. Some of this is on par with, with a sci-fi original. It's amazing. There's a great scene where our heroes, and I use that term very loosely, find the monster in the rig, but they can't get a clear shot because two of the other workers are standing in front of it, and there's some boxes in the hall. I know what I'd do here. I'm sure you know what you'd do here. Just run out of cover, for fuck's sake. The damn thing is gonna chase you and come out from behind that stack of boxes. It's not a goddamn algebra test. Do you think that's what they do here? Nah, these people are too smooth brain for that strategy. Instead, this guy orders the two workers to move the boxes by hand while the monster is like like a gnat's dick's length away from them. But for some reason, instead of hearing move the clutter, this guy starts clapping. And I have never wished for the death of a character in my life more than I did here. Also, it never really eats anyone for some reason. Despite having a big ass mouth full of sharp teeth, it just kind of throws them around like a rag doll with its PS2 looking ass CGI. Probably for the 3D effect. Oh yeah, did I mention this movie was released in 3D? When they released it on Blu-ray, the 3D version got included on the same disc. Probably because they felt bad charging people premium 3D cost for this garbage. The 3D sucks. It's almost non-existent. You know those 3D post conversions that 20th Century Fox did for like iRobot and Jumper? Or you know, maybe Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one. It's somehow worse than those. I mean, for every subgenre this movie tries to do, there's another movie that does it far better that you're better off watching. You want to see a good Korean monster movie? The Host. Infinitely better. Maybe you just want an intense movie about an oil rig. Deep Water Horizon. Looking for a sea monster attack movie? Deep Rising. Very similar movie to this. Has better CGI even though it came out a decade earlier. I mean, Sector 7 didn't even really do well in South Korea, so that's saying something. Even if you look up the Wikipedia entry for it, the only information it gives you is, of the 1800 cuts, the CG accounted for 1748 cuts. The monsters appearing in the movie come from the appearance of sea creatures such as sea squirt. The fuck is a sea squirt? 